Huawei just launched their P30 Pro taking top spot on DXO Max charts. If you look at the optics, the setup at least, they do share some basic similarities with a certain Samsung flagship. A primary shooter with wide-angle and telephoto secondaries rings a bell, doesn't it? Of course, there are a lot more differences if you look into it, but how do these two compare? The P30 Pro and the Galaxy S10 Plus? Let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's first start with 40 versus 12 megapixels. Now here, both do a good job under well-lit conditions. Zoom into the S10 Plus's full resolution here, and you can see the image is crispier with the P30 Pro. There is more detail. Zoom in further, 100% crop to the P30 Pro's full resolution, and you can see the S10 Plus start to lose detail in certain areas. Now, one thing I noticed with the 40 megapixel mode on the P30 Pro is that it does not produce its best colors here. Maybe it's because of the new RYYB sensor configuration and Huawei kind of needs time to tune colors for it or something. Sometimes we end up getting shots like this. So then I switch to the 10 megapixel mode, which is the default. And even here, Huawei has the tendency to stray to the warmer sides more often but the colors are closer to natural and detail levels are comparable. In this image, a 100% crop just doesn't help set these two cameras apart. And that's what we usually use to compare. So at this point, they are really close. And at 200%, the S10 Plus crawls ahead in terms of detail in this case. It's also worth mentioning that the S10 Plus has a slight advantage with regards to dynamic range. Now in this set though, you can see the extra warmth on the image shot with the P30 Pro. And even at 100% crop, the extra detail is visible. Now going to 100%, you can see all the extra detailing on the bark of the tree on the image shot with the P30 Pro. So in this set of images, the detailing levels have kind of reversed. The P30 Pro has the edge. So we move on to a third set. A nice example in this shot. The sky is more pleasing on the shot with the S10, but hey, that was an artificial boost. The P30 Pro did capture a more true to life sky but the P30 Pro's AI did boost up the mosque's saturation. Now, what is interesting here is the S10 Plus's dynamic range advantage. It is visible with the extra detailing in the shadows, but, but go for the 200% crop and you see the P30 Pro having an extra edge with detail. So under good light, these two have their own sets of pros and cons. They're quite evenly matched. With the ultra wide angle camera, Samsung has a wider field of view, captures more into the picture and might even have a slight edge on dynamic range. While as evident from the zoomed in images, the P30 Pro might have an edge in terms of detail. With the telephoto lenses, there is no comparison. Just look at that reach. Now, this is just the 5x optical zoom. When we go into a 100% crop for the P30 Pro and zoom into the S10 Plus to match the frame, the S10 Plus just cannot measure up. Now, the P30 Pro can also do a 10x hybrid zoom, supposedly without loss of quality, well, there is actually a loss, but not as much as with digital. Now, that's a conversation for another day. But zoom in and match the S10 Plus's zoom and the P30 Pro destroys it. The 50x digital zoom, let's get to that in a minute. Now, under low light, the P30 Pro combines four pixels into one to allow for even more light in. And the result's obvious. Even when the light drops just a tiny bit, like here in this brightly lit corridor, Zoom in and see how clean the P30 Pro's image is compared to the S10 Plus. We can see visible noise here on the image shot with the S10 Plus. Now Huawei's night mode allows for multi-frame noise reduction with all their sensors. Now that utilizes the Kirin 980's horsepower and helps reign supreme under low light. Now look at the shop's board here. Let's actually zoom in. See the bottles there? The detail on the pavement? That's all thanks to that night mode. Here's the 5x optical zoom. And here's a 100% crop of both. Notice how the S10 is blowing out the highlights. Now here's the 10x hybrid zoom. And here's where the P30 Pro shines. Hits killer under low light. The S10 Plus just can't stack up. Now wanna see something really, really insane? Here goes, these are the ultra wides, right? They look nice. See that tiny, tiny dot? Let's do digital zoom on both phones, handheld. 
Samsung first 10x digital zoom looks like this. Let's actually zoom in 5x more via software and it kind of looks like this with Samsung. Now the 50x P30 Pro boom from here to here under low light hand freaking held. That's the reach, that's the range, that's just amazing. I know, yeah, in all my excitement about the telephoto, I totally forgot all about that Ford sensor. So let's next talk portraits. We are not done. There is a reason I tweeted this after all. You know, with portraits, thanks to that time of flight sensor, the B30 Pro has a definite advantage. The edge reduction is much better. There is also more detail captured here. As for selfies, both get the job done, produce more or less similar results. Not a lot to see here. Thankfully, there's not a lot for me to talk about. Now, from a video perspective, the P30 Pro does well enough, but this is all S10+, Plus, thanks to the presence of 4K 60fps. The P30 Pro does shoot brighter and allows for 5x optical zoom footage, but that's shaky though. Now that all is said and done, which is the better camera? Let's break it down. Under good light, the S10 Plus produces more saturated colors, more suited to social media, so a positive for most of us. I'd call it better under good light for the primary sensor. The selfies are a tie, the S10 Plus has a wider field of view when it comes to ultra-wides and 4K 60fps. Now when it comes to zoom, optical, hybrid or digital, the P30 Pro blows the S10 Plus away and you know, there's no competition there. The S10 Plus wins in the previously mentioned categories by narrow margins, but it's not that way here. When it comes to zoom, the P30 Pro crushes the competition. And then we get to low light. Samsung's refusal to incorporate multi-frame noise processing algorithms, something Huawei were one of the first to implement last year. Now that affects the S10 Plus. With every camera, with every scenario, be it regular, wide or telephoto, the P30 Pro with its night mode outperforms the S10 Plus and by quite a margin. So as things stand, the P30 Pro does seem to be the better camera between the two. Where it loses to the S10 Plus, it loses by narrow margins, but the areas it wins, low light and zoom, it crushes the competition. Great job, Huawei. So there you have it. What do you think about these two cameras? Which one of these two do you prefer? Given a choice, which would you pick? Let me know in the comments below. And what would you like to see next? P30 Pro versus the iPhone XS Max? P30 Pro versus the Mi 9 Explorer Edition? You know, the one with the f1.47 lens? Again, let me know via the comments below and I'll try to make that happen. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.